Hello, church. My name is Mario Bolivar from Skinny Atlas Presbyterian Church. Thank you for watching. Today is day seven of our spring study called 20 Ways to Spring Clean Your Life. And today we read Hebrews 3, verse 12 to 13. And we read that part that says, See to it, brothers, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. But encourage one another daily, as long as it's called today, so that none of you may be heartened by sin's deceitfulness. Unbelief is not the inability to believe. It's the unwillingness to trust. Unbelief is not the weakness of faith, but actually unbelieving, it sets itself in, a, in opposition to faith. It takes sometimes the place of faith. Perhaps you can argue your point and say that part of growing in faith is unbelieving. But I will say, stop right there and says, unbelieving has no place in faith. Questions, doubts are different than unbelieving. They are not the same. As we consider spring cleaning our life, take that unbelieving that you have. The fact that you might have another feelings towards God than being faithful. And ask God to work through them with you. You can have your questions. You can have your doubts. It is the unbelieving that you cannot have. Because if there is a little bit of unbelieving in your heart, then most likely you have no faith or a faith that is weak, a faith that will not pass the test of life. Surrender yourself with people that remind you of believing daily Work in your faith in a way that you do it daily. The unbelief harms you. Your questions are helpful. If you are in a community of faith that doesn't support questions or, you know, doubts, not only run away from that place, fly away from that place. Because questions and doubts built trust in your faith. But the unbelieving is different. The unbelieving pushes God away from your soul. Unbelieving pushes you away from the living God. And if you're pushing God away, how can you claim that you have faith? If you are a person that is working on your faith, surrender yourself with people that have a form faith already. See the urgency of walking away from unbelieving and walk and work towards believing in the living God. With your doubts, with your questions, God welcomes you but the first thing that you have to do is to believe whether you understand or not thank you for doing this Lent study with me not Lent spring study with me until next time be blessed